Okay. Bridges and interchanges are like umbrellas. Okay. And if we will not, it's only that the communication sector that has failed. Based on the project I have seen, projects that I have seen, mm -hmm. the communication sector has failed in selling the project. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Today, based on the bridges and the interchanges that I've seen, those that are, if they are able to, which, are you getting me? They have done more interchanges than, than any, besides Nkrumah, or and they've done more interchanges in this country than any other government. They have constructed more roads, places that are doing even, every corner there's a road network. Every corner, I'm talking about there's an ongoing road or is being filled, which is asphalt. So if you sit in Accra here as a communicator, living in Trazaco, buying the price of Trazaco Kinky, okay, uh, uh, sleeping, running pipe water in the villages, my brother, if you sink for who, I'm talking about digging of boreholes, mm -hmm. when water bills goes up, it doesn't affect the average Ghanaian in Alavanyo, Kokofu, Aberbesokrum, Jasikai. Uh, 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 mim bohol they don't pay water bill so if you're in Accra here you have water washing your car in the morning that they don't have it and you sit in and think election is not one in a crowd they should go to, into the interlands and hear what those that have gotten the, the the free fertilizers those that the planting for food and jobs have impacted them those that i'm not saying the government is perfect but ndc my people should wear the red lens and call a spade a spade that there is nothing like a perfect government. There is nothing like a perfect president. There will never be like a perfect government, but we should learn, that's the NLC, to give credit to where it's due and give constructive criticism in terms of solutions. Don't be praying that your opponent will make the wrong thing. If you go to the pumps, that's the gas station, they don't say this is NLC's queue. They don't say this is MPP queue. This is I get him in. Mm -hmm. But don't narrow president of another government so my party i've been i was attacked on friday okay on my way home but in in a nutshell for the fact that you are praising the government that has done the right thing doesn't mean that you've been paid or been bought so it's my party my mother party is saying that common sense is being sold people don't have the right to anybody that speaks sense means they have been bought is that how they want to equate it were they buying sense Okay. Um, when, when, uh, when we're in government, let me, let me and how, where were we that they didn't buy us to have that space? We're speaking that sense for free. Today, look, and if you're a political party and you train a dog to bite, huh? to, to bite you. there is a day that it will bite you because you go and wine with the enemy. You come with that perfume. So you must respect that. You don't you go like, and wine with the enemy. You come without perfume. We come with the perfume of, of the, the enemy. enemy in the house. So the dog will, the smell dog will you bite you. It's just like when uh, was in Tony Edu uh -huh. was speaking sense. He was weeks outside the country, uh -huh. like a brand new Porsche. Porsche. Mm -hmm. Now they brought him back, mm -hmm. like an antique vehicle. Who cannot do? I, I, I get where I'm coming. What's Tony Edu though? He's there. He's an old now. I'm trying, trying to say that he was, he was a fine young mm -hmm. old man that was very strong. They took him outside the country. Mm -hmm. They brought him and realized that he was making sense. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Now when he's on the studio, speaking, it's like Numba. Or is in his older days now. I, I get to me. Mm -hmm. He's not speaking with the strength and, and what have you. But if they had maintained him here and they used those knowledge that they have, they would have built a party to be on track. So John Dramani Mahama needs me, me, Atribiga, I'll sit here and tell you people that 2028, I will support Asiedun Ketia to lead the party as a presidential candidate. Why? He, we need somebody not to win an election, but to, re, to rebrand, revamp the party. Put the party back in its value where it belongs to. The party should represent the face, not sheep in wolf's clothes. You say you are socialist and you are leading a capitalist life. Who are you fooling? People call me. That how can we go to Kimpiski? If this is an opposition. Then when we are in government, we'll be having meetings. What's the most expensive hotel in this country? It means we'll be having meetings there. And we, those that will suffer for the party, we can't get closer. And no, now, now, the Hoyes and co have shown that you have to bring a bargaining on the table. Your bargaining chip on the table. So why should others to work? But if we bring a cadre, a grassroots person, somebody who understands that the interest, if an NDC person shouldn't be looking wretched, for mm -hmm. you to be looking wretched, raggedy, uh, uh, not looking good, show that you are a real grassroots person. They should bring somebody that will grow with the members of the party, that will pull them together, pull the members along. And I say that, as you doing, Ketia, that is why some of us, we vote for him to be chairman. But look as if, 
his arm is being twisted here and there. But we are with him. The struggling that he's doing to change the party. I will support him for him to lead the party so that you will revamp the party. Once we bring value into the party, an average foot soldier can afford his one three month salary to one year, can afford for them to participate the, in the internal election of the party. Then we know we are back to track where Rollins wanted us to be or has wanted us to be. Then we can come together. But at this moment, the NDC, I'm telling the members, when they come and they, are, they don't have what it takes to collate resource, okay? They don't have what it takes. They are not able to put the party together. The party is divided more than cut or oranges that you split or, or yam from cucumber market that has been split for, 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 for frying. They are lying. They are not ready for election. They don't have what it takes to collate an election. And an election, a, a, an election director should be able that when they made you a minister, you build people. Who will be willing to sacrifice for you in the village? You don't know you that I'm going to take a bullet. There should be parts and parcel of it. So the NDC, I'm telling you now, my members, I'm telling the grassroots, they are lying. They are not, they don't have what it takes. Forget of the TV. Until you see leadership, you see Fresh Bafu, you see, you see, uh, 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 Kovnad, Kovnad Ufo, you see Sylvester Mensah and Co. You see, uh, uh, Joe Ajeho, you see John Jirasa, you see all the former presidential candidates being on radio speaking that vote for the party until you see them because they are all waiting for their cuts they are all waiting for to be part of the equation that is why you've seen the party the party is divided so john Ramani mahama is not turning back to make sure that to put the interest of the party in terms of doing reconciliation dr uh, uh, martin hamidu and co uh, uh, baba kamara and co all the big names that they've all and you can ndc can never win an election with uh, 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 without the uh, um there are people that have always won election for the party. All of them have been put on the side. So until, and look, when I see Edun Ketia went for mm -hmm. Atia Akologo's funeral, mm -hmm. he looked for uh, uh, at formal minister, mm -hmm. uh, uh, John Tia. Yes. I see Edun Ketia looked for all the formal members of parliament that he started with, including my biological father, Fortuna Tubiga, mm -hmm. shook hands mm -hmm. with them. And individual called them to come and say, look, I am in opposition. I am holding grounds for you people. You people should look up to me. Are you getting me? Things are not good, but this is what the bread that I have for every, all of them. And that is what comradeship means. Comradeship means if you don't feed, I don't feed. You check on each other, have you eaten? Today, what have we turned? We've seen those that don't have constituency. They have never been impacted to anybody. They don't have the cloud following John Ramani Ma. Look at when Dr. Mahmoud Mbahumia is moving. When, doctor, when you see Dr. Mahmoud Mbahumia moving, he shows that he's hungry. He has gone to reach those who have fallen. I'm talking to a former general secretary of the Commons party. Of he, he has brought all of them on board. He does, yeah. That, that's, that's really good. It shows, and I want to use the opportunity to also talk to my big brother, Apia Kubi, my very good friend. Mm -hmm. I think he should do the honorary and call Napo and say, Napo, you were not my choice. But in the interest of the party that they've made you a running mate, I am with you. Give me a role to play in the interest of making sure that we win. Your, your win is my win. So as I expect Napo, as he has hit the ground running, he should call all those who are against him, all those who think he couldn't do the work. Napo should call them and ask them, what role do you want to play under my, my wing as the running mate? Come and let's work together. And that is, what, that is how I think somebody has to trigger what you should say. And, and, and the NDC should, I'm not afraid to stick my neck now that they should learn Dr. Mahmoud Baumia's style of campaigning. I have to live it here. It's yes. It's 11.40. Yes. I'm and sorry. though I am campaigning for NLC, yeah. I am not the one who will tell people that it's the grand, for instance, my executives, they are all on the trenches. It's a privilege given for us to come and sit here that I, have, I, I, I came. Are you getting me? Yes, but, but, but they are working. But they are working. And I'll call a spade a spade. Oh, no, I have to live it. I have to live it here. Okay. Thank you very much, viewers, for watching. Time. Um, you see, when you are privileged to be made a leader of a political party, you are the one who wants to be a president. The responsibility of making sure that the direction of the... Look, your, your responsibility of making sure that decisions that are taken in the interest of you winning the power first, because the party brands you. We are a social democratic party, socialist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we go and rent a place, Pink, uh, Kimpiski, where water, an average foot soldier in the NDC, an average grassroots person, cannot afford to buy water. So if you are there, if you go and rent a place at Kimpiski to go and chastise a party that we call a capitalist, 
especially you want to chastise them for value for money. Then you go and spend that amount of money to be at a location that doesn't relate to your grassroots, doesn't relate to the, the, to the party's principles and ideology. There are so many places. Because you go to the trenches. Uh, so your problem is the location of the... The location is very bad. It doesn't represent us. It doesn't mm. represent socialists. What should they have done? There's an NDC have headquarters. Yeah, the NDC has an has an head. head it's also the GJ. Thank you, press center. And mm. there are communities. We go to uh, community centers and places that relate. I'm talking about the NDC is much more related to the to the nobodies. I'm talking about the, the Zongo communities mm. and what have you. Mm -hmm. If it's in the socialists, I mean those are the. But you are living a lifestyle. You go there like a movie stars, or you go there like you're going to launch um, the, something more. You are, in, you are in opposition, and you are leading the party like you are in government. Look at Dr. Bahamudu Bahamia, okay? Dr. Bahamudu Bahamia is running his campaign like somebody who is in opposition, who now wants to taste power. If you look at Bahamudu Bahamia, Dr. Bahamudu Bahamia's strategy, he's reaching to the grassroots and putting himself, are you getting me? Look at the caliber of people that were sitting there. And most of the grassroots people who called me, okay, who called me, that even the dressing at all, they were turning them, turning them back. Oh, at the campus. Yes, time. yes, most of them. I don't believe that. I'm would. telling you. Why are they I'm, turning them I'm, away? Because they, the, the, the way they dress, the way they look, they are they are poor, and they, we believe that the, the the NDC is for the poor. And then at the same time, the amount of money that to buy water at the Kimpiski, we know it's between for uh, twenty to thirty cities to forty per bottle of water over mm -hmm. there in Kimpiski, and I'm saying that. An average foot soldier today, they call me and cry. They want 20 cities for food. 20 Ghana is a, is, is a how do you call it? It's a chop money, feeding mm -hmm. fee for a family in, in villages, a lot of villages. So if you are privileged, John Dramani Mahama is an experienced politician who has been a president before. And as a former president, if you turn around and everybody is doing yes, master, yes, master, yes, master, there's nobody to tell the boss. As a former president who should be speaking with experience, Dr. Mahmoud Obamia has never been a president before. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Mahmoud Obamia has been able to patch himself. In the first time in the history of this country, we have a sitting running mate, a sitting vice president, who is bold enough to tell Ghanaians that, look, this is my boss, the sitting president, President Anado, who gave me the privilege, opportunity to be a running mate today, I'm a president. But I am boldly telling you Ghanaians that when I get the opportunity, I will do things differently from my boss. It has never happened in this country. Our vice presidents or running mates speak in prison. They are um, uh, the press, the sitting president or the, the or the um, opposition leader who gave the opportunity. That's a sincerity. So he has patched himself. When John Dramani Mahama talking about free SH and water, I'm just seeing mm -hmm. giving an example. For instance, how come a former sitting president, your people allow you to go out and say, if I become a president, I'm going to do farming for the NDC people, I'll do uh, the poultry and what have you. You remember that it takes more than a particular party to get votes. You are going to be a president for all. Mm -hmm. It is your party chairman, the general secretaries of the party, they will make those statements. And then maybe you will come out and say, look, as a president, I don't think I will condone doing poultry and chairman and co. I get him as an experienced former sitting, sitting, a formal mm -hmm. defeated sitting president with all the experience. And at the same time, you are not an, you are, an, uh, 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 how do you call it? You are a historian. Mm -hmm. Okay, my big brother. Mm -hmm. So if you want to choose a running mate, you have to be more tactical and look at what is the running mate bringing on board. Is the running mate going to bring me votes? Is the running mate going to balance my equation? This, where MPP find itself, itself today is different from where the NDC find itself. And the most difficult candidate to sell in any political atmosphere or scenario is a defeated formal sitting president coming back are you sure how do you know that look go look throughout the whole world mm -hmm. it is few formal defeated presidents that have been able to win again because internally mm -hmm. for instance the ndc john damani mahama's lost hall has been orchestrated internally mm -hmm. all his defeats from 2012 i mean from 2016 mm -hmm. okay how is he orchestrated internally oh we have a um we have we, there's always an intent. There's, at this moment, mm -hmm. the NDC hasn't got strikers. It's, it's defeated. The cracks, there's, there, there is. NDC has defeated itself already in this election. There's no formidable force. 
there's power blocks people have been left behind and i dare anybody to call me today on this studio and disgrace me that when have they ever seen some of the stakeholders the former presidential candidates leadership of the party and then i'm i'm going to use um um what's his name lit uh mm -hmm. ETMS's mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. have come to any studio of the bot airtime they've gone to say vote for the ndc vote for us um, th that's why the running mate has deepened the crack if I, you I don't understand why is the running mate choice wrong it's a gender very very wrong very 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 wrong look because the personality yes, is wrong or is not the the gender choice as a wrong? form a defeated former city president who wants to win power mm -hmm. your running mate has to be very strategic for instance dr mahmoud Baumia, who represents the dombo mm -hmm. he knows very well that as a northerner he carries the northerner as that's what he brings on the table besides his experience mm -hmm. and at the same mm -hmm. time choosing a running mate you choose a running mate at the heartbeat of the party whereby irrespective of the flaws the action and inaction of the party people will follow the party in the interest of the party because at the end of the day it is the party that wins an election mm -hmm. and in this country it is not a good performance or bad performance of a government that wins an election it is the structure of your party and on election day it is not government structures it is party structure and in, on election day there is no uh, 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 your friend there's no formality mm -hmm. okay it is strategy mm -hmm. so dr